Can one really pinpoint the origin of a river? In terms of the Deerfield, they say its 70 miles begins in Stratton, Vermont, at the base of the mountain bearing the same name. But doesn't a river have more than just one starting point? Isn't it more than the water measured from bank to bank? After all, a river is inseparable from its watershed, over whose contoured landscape rainfall strikes, droplets work their way down, and eventually form its namesake waterway below. The Deerfields is 665 square miles, second in size only to that of the Chicopee within the larger Connecticut River Basin. It manages to straddle not only the lines of two states, but of two worlds, wild and developed. Such a large area defines this river and cannot be thought of in separate terms. The Deerfield is its watershed and the watershed is the Deerfield. It is its various forks and tributaries. It is wilderness and mountains, reservoirs, ponds, waterfalls, and bogs. It is its diversity of wildlife. It is the businesses that prosper along its banks, in and with its waters, inviting visitors and employing locals. It is a river that works in more ways than one. It works as an ecosystem. It works as an economic engine. It works hard and so deserves respect and proper stewardship. Hopefully, we will always follow its lead and work hard too to protect the Deerfield River. <laughs>